I think we expected that uh, they would strike back and uh, try to prove to NATO that, in fact, they have the greater will, the greater uh, capacity to resist. Uh, so this is not something that uh, was unexpected. Unfortunately, it was more tragic than we could have thought. Uh, the only thing that NATO can do now is uh, continue to live up to its commitment. Otherwise, if you back away right now, then all of these will, lives have been wasted and many more in the future will die as a consequence. First of all, I think the safe area is more or less a legal fiction that was created to try to protect civilians against the indiscriminate attacks. But remember, we're talking about terrorist attacks upon civilians here. Those 50-some killed in Tuzla, I still don't know how many. Uh, they're, uh, they were just a bunch of young kids walking up and down the street as uh, kids would walk up and down the street in any western city. And they were targeted as a terrorist act. So I think we need to respond to these terrorist acts in the same way you respond to a terrorist act in Oklahoma City or London or Paris. It certainly can't hurt. Right now we have UN uh, commanders who come into Sarajevo looking strictly to play the role of peacekeepers to be, as they put it, uh, completely even-handed. And when the facts on the ground are not even-handed, then they, in fact, try to fabricate, create, imagine facts on the ground that are even-handed. Obviously, these 50 dead in Tuzla are not a fabrication. I think the UN command and those responsible should come to their senses one. There is no even-handedness in a war where civilians are being targeted by terrorists. On the other hand, uh, we have uh, a set of military actions that are being considered right now. In the past, when we uh, came up to this point, it seemed that uh, UMPA for NATO always backed off. I think it's about time that we don't back off, because if we do back off, we'll return to the same problems, where once again the fighting would slowly intensify, more civilians, in fact, would be targeted, and we will have now not only the strangulation of Sarajevo, but other towns like Tuzla.